Hey, what's up, stock traders? Brian Horton with BK Stock Academy, also BK Trading Academy. So I'm here to clear up some confusion as to what are stock exchanges? What is the difference between a stock, an ETF, and an indice? And I'll just talk about this in a very, very quick video. We're gonna go over NASDAQ and NYC. I even have an illustration that I really like. I want you guys to stay to the end. But what I typically want you to understand here is that the NASDAQ is pretty much like a grocery store full of different stocks, okay? So is the New York Stock Exchange. So the NASDAQ is a grocery store of different food and items and things like that. Let's say the companies inside of the NASDAQ are different foods, right? You have Apple, you have Microsoft, you have these big companies, and they're different foods, the same as in the New York Stock Exchange. The main difference in the NASDAQ is that the NASDAQ is mainly technology companies, whereas the New York Stock Exchange have Fortune 500 companies, as well as the NASDAQ, but they have a lot of different things. A lot of companies that are the same, but there are a lot of companies that are different. So we're outside of a grocery store here, and let's go shopping inside of our stock exchange. Remember, the grocery store is a stock exchange. Let's go inside to see if we wanna buy a particular stock or an ETF. All right, so we're walking inside of the grocery store, and we're just trying to find out if we want a stock, which is an individual item, one item, or if we want an ETF, which consists of a basket of different things all into one, right? So we're not getting separate items. We wanna get something that's already wrapped into one, like a box of items. So we see drink, milk, not interested in that. Uh, soda, that's a stock here. Coca-Cola is a stock. Uh, nothing interesting. Let's see. You know what? I'm interested in a bag of chips. And here is a bag of chips right here. We see Lay's potato chips. That's considered a stock right here. And you know what, I think I want that stock right here. So if I'm only interested in this bag of potato chips here, I may get a bag of potato chip stock. All right, so let's look at the stock exchange as a grocery store. And let's say this is Walmart, for example, okay? So every time you hear the word stock exchange, think of it as a housing for food or for companies. All right. And so let's say we go into that store and we want to buy a bag of potato chips. Now, let's say this bag of potato chips is a stock, just like any other food item inside of that Walmart or inside of the stock exchange. We want to buy a stock. We're interested particularly in chips. Now, we know that there are different varieties of chips, just like there's different varieties of stock. But instead, you know what? Although I like Lay's potato chips, I think I want more of a variety. And let's say that variety is an ETF, just like a stock, an ETF can have chips inside of it, but except you have many different types of chips instead of just that Lay's plain potato chips. So now if I want to invest in an ETF, I have different chips all in one. And I think that the Cheetos, the Lay's, the Ruffles, the Fritos, the Doritos, whatever else is inside of that box is going to go up in value. So you know what? I may invest in an ETF instead of just one Lay's potato chips stock. Now, an ETF can have different sectors. Now, this box here of 28 bags of chips, this is our chip sector, for example, okay? So inside of this box is nothing but chips. There's nothing else. However, there are ETFs with different types of sectors, various sectors. So here's another ETF here at the bottom where I may invest in a Ford truck, Lay's potato chips, an HP computer, and even Chick-fil-A. So now I have different things all into one basket, but they're different sectors. So you can understand that we have an ETF with just a sector in technology, for example, or I want to invest in an ETF in healthcare, whereas I may want to do, you know what, an ETF in a truck or chips and computer all into one basket. And a stock is individual. There's nothing else with it but a stock. So if I want to invest in Microsoft, that's all I'm investing in is Microsoft. If I want to invest in Apple, that's all I'm investing in an Apple. But if I'm investing in an ETF or even an indice or an index, there's many different things inside of one. Just like the US 30, the US 30 consists of 30 different companies in one. That's an index. There's also a Dow ETF where there's 30 different companies inside of that ETF. ETFs and indices are very, very similar in many different aspects, but there are different, and I'm not gonna go too much into it in this video, but I want you just to understand the difference between the stock exchange, which is the grocery store that houses the stocks and the ETFs and indices. Then we have a stock individually, like the Soleil's potato chips. And then we have ETFs within a sector, like the same sector. So I may have a healthcare ETF or a technology ETF or a food ETF, but then I also have an ETF with different things combined inside of a basket, like a truck or chips, computer, 
Chick-fil-A and so on and so forth. So here. All right, guys, so very sweet video. And I hope that this illustration and this video really helped you clear your mind as to what ETFs are, indices, stocks, and even the stock exchange. Guys, show me some love. This is a brand new channel. Thumbs up, share this video. This will help me out a lot. And comment, I really appreciate that. Also be sure to join our Discord in the description below for our new community. And we really appreciate you guys. We'll see you in the next video. God bless.